What is that sound? That is really weird. Man, that's weird. What is that fluttering sound? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you've ever bought a brand new reg set and went to go breathe off it for the first time, you probably heard a little fluttering noise and wondered what that was. Is it an adjustment issue? Is there something wrong with the regulator? Well in today's video we're actually going to determine what that actual fluttering noise is and whether or not you should be worried about it. And I'm going to kind of explain why it works above Above the water but it doesn't necessarily work under the water as well so with that being said let's get into today's video so anytime that you hear a flutter coming from the second stage whether it's on the inhale or the exhale portion of your breathing there's two things that could be causing it if it's on the inhale it's more than likely going to be the diaphragm that's directly behind your purge button here if it's on the exhale then it's going to be the diaphragm that's out here on your exhaust port and we're going to take a look at both of them today and I'll kind of show you why this works above the water but it doesn't work below the water and we'll also be talking about whether you should be concerned with it with your specific reg and if it's even even dangerous for you when you're underwater but on this particular reg I'm gonna go ahead and take off the um, front face plate here and we'll notice that there's a diaphragm that diaphragm is what actually sucks in whenever you inhale creating negative pressure and it pushes in on the purge button itself. Now most regulators will actually have a little retaining ring here. This retaining ring is actually what kind of holds that thing into place and it's also what protects it from whenever you screw your faceplate on as well. But as we can see this is the diaphragm here. This is our little demand lever and then of course it connects to our demand valve in a second stage and if you're not familiar with how a second stage works it's a pretty simple design. We have a demand valve here at the hose connector, and that's what stops the airflow coming into the second stage. To open it, we must open that valve by simply pressing in on the demand lever, and we do that through inhalation. When you inhale, this diaphragm sucks in. The little plate here on the diaphragm actually presses on the lever, and it gives you air. So basically, you demand it to breathe by inhaling. You demand it to stop breathing by simply exhaling, and that's how a demand valve works. So what is actually making the flutter noise whenever it breathes in and out? Well, in short, it's the actual diaphragm. So when you inhale, this diaphragm is going to suck in, and during the recoil of it, it's going to kind of flutter back and forth. And since we're up here in the surface, we can actually hear that flutter. It's kind of like if you took a piece of grass and blew through it and made a noise. It's very similar to whistling in a sense, but it's basically just that diaphragm that's flopping back and forth, and it's creating a fluttering noise. Now, underwater, we don't necessarily hear that, because the water is buffering that diaphragm and there's more resistance to the water than there is to the air so this diaphragm is not flopping around quite as much as what it does on land so that's why you don't hear it during the inhalation process underwater now let's take a quick, quick look at the exhaust port here and I'll kind of show you the same thing need a pair of pliers to get this pin out here but I'll show you the same thing on the exhaust port on this particular reg set the exhaust port which is a one wave valve also has a diaphragm there and i'll see if i can get it pulled out for you this diaphragm is just made of silicone it's the exact same material if you will as that is and it's it works kind of like positive pressure as the positive pressure of the water presses in on it it seals it off that's why we don't get no water uh, through this valve during the inhalation process but at the same time it allows air to escape so you can imagine as you're exhaling this valve opens up and air comes out well, here at the surface, once again, we can hear it fluttering back and forth. But underwater, the water itself is going to uh, kind of muffle it out. So you're not going to hear that during the exhalation process. But that's it, guys. That's all it is. When you're hearing a regulator flutter, either through the inhale process or the exhale process, it's nothing more than these silicone diaphragms. Now, is it something that we should really worry about? Does it mean our regulator is broken? No, it's just basic aero flow dynamics if you will it's how these flutter in the 
um, air column here at the surface and once again they're being buffered by the water underwater so it's not something that you should really worry about now one thing that I've found that helps over the years is whenever you get your regulator serviced clean your um, diaphragms very well. One of the things we do is we just take them, we run them underwater. I'll just kind of take my hands and I'll wipe away all the debris and just make sure I've got a good smooth seal on that as well. And you want to make sure that the diaphragm is in good working order. Now a lot of repair kits don't actually come with diaphragms. They are separate parts. So we typically do not replace diaphragms. But during the servicing process, we will look all the way around the plate just to see if there's any loose material around the plate where it's kind of either crimped or glued on. These right here are actually crimped and glued on. But we just look for any, any little malfunction in the diaphragm itself. Now typically if the diaphragm has a hole in the open part of it, then of course we're going to know right away because every time you breathe you're going to take on water but if there's any holes where the plate itself is it can pull up some of that material yet the glue is still going to be sealed to it so you're not going to be breathing wet but it can cause some flutter effects too as far as the diaphragm of the exhaust port one of the things that i look for is to see if it's warped to see if it's um, even all the way across if it's warped up at all then of course you can replace it very easily and this diaphragm here is pretty much replaced in all regulators when you rebuild them but that's the flutter noise it's actually coming from your diaphragm it's not something that you should really be concerned with at the surface and once again underwater you're probably not going to hear it to begin with so that's it guys that's the fluttering noise that you hear they're kind of annoying sometimes we don't like to hear them but in all honesty it's not really that big a deal uh, if you clean your regulator properly and you make sure everything's in good working order more than likely you're probably not going to hear it but if you do hear it it's not something that's going to ruin your dive it's not something that is unsafe or that you shouldn't be doing it's just the way it is and it's very common actually in a lot of regulators i know a lot of my personal regs they'll do it here at the surface even my daughter's reg they flutter at the surface and we really don't have any worries about it but guys if you like this video if you got any questions or comments or concerns about regulator servicing drop me a comment down below and i'll try to answer it the best i can but if you did like the video give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business